Hello everyone, welcome to my Project Ideas channel. Today we'll learn how to connect the NeoPixel Ring 16 with Arduino. So let us begin. So for this, we need one Arduino node, one NeoPixel Ring having 16 NeoPixels, and a few connecting wires. Now let us see how to connect the circuit. So for this, first of all, we'll connect this in pin of this NeoPixel Ring to this 3 number pin of this Arduino. After it, we will connect this fire, uh, power terminal of this new pixel ring to the side volt power supply of this Arduino and this ground pin of it will be connecting to this GND pin of this Arduino. So in this way our circuit is ready. Now let us see the code. So over here our code is in which first of all we have included two libraries. First is for the new pixel purpose and the second is to reduce the power consumption. And over here we have defined a variable pin to 3. Uh, over here you can see that this NeoPixel ring having 16 NeoPixels are connected to the 3 number pin of this Arduino. And hence the pin we have initialized it to 3. Now after this as you can see over here we have used one more variable ring that is equal to uh, these are the parameters. 16 represents the number of total NeoPixels in this ring. Pin is the uh, number to which this ring is connected to this Arduino Uno. And after over here, after this over here, this GRB represents a green, red, and blue color code. And this is the 800 kilohertz frequency of this NeoPixel ring. And now in this void setter function, we are beginning this ring. And in this void loop function over here, we have used two functions. First is the symbol and the second one is the cycle. Just to get a different look of this NeoPixel ring. Now in this void simple function, we have used two variables i and k which will be used in this two for loops and it will show the different colors in this ring. Now in this void cycle function, uh, we over here we have used two, fun two variables a and g which will be used in this for loop and over here as well the wheel function will be used. And using this dot show function, we are showing the co colors in the rings. And this one is a delay function that takes time in milliseconds. Now in this wheel function, what we are doing is we are using a variable p that uh, that represents a position. Now, uh, the as we know that the color codes are are, are in between zero to two uh, fifty five, so there are total two hundred and fifty six. So over here we are representing the different colors at a different time so now if the position is less than 85 we will show a different color and if it is less than 170 we will show a different color and if it is uh, like in this way and we will reduce this position uh, variable by 130 each time now let us see how exactly it will work so for it i'm clicking on start simulation as you can see over here this is the simple function in which this NeoPixel ring, all of these NeoPixels are getting the same color in a cycle. And after it, like you can see over here, this is the cycle function over here in which uh, two or three LEDs will get the same color and the rest of them all will get the different color. So in this way, our cycle function will work. So in this way we can connect this NeoPixel ring having 16 NeoPixels with Hardware. Thank you.